we're playing portent of something <laughs> the uh portent of calamity can cycle for cheap can cast big stuff card draw spell you reveal four, four more different types off of it you get to cast the card for free probably a slightly better way to explain that card it eh, rings pretty good Trade Mockingbird energy. Yeah, we, we just we just finished four four matches with that deck. It was went three and one. Mockingbird was awesome. Port Mage was fine. Um very exciting about that about that deck though. Certainly hoping to draw a land next turn. Oh no. Thing is Dingo's so nice, just so fast. 18 land special. We have we have four Lorian reveal, it's not 18 lands. It's 22 plus four talisman, 26 mana sources. We also have sink into the stupor. It actually might be more than that. Yeah, sorry, yes, with sink with sink in the stupor is 24 lands to four talisman. So let's see if our if Dingo has the the cat, the lynx to get through my ring here. We have some all is dust in the deck. There's a portent. Would love to draw a land off the ring. That would be a really big deal. Nice. Uh, I guess I could have tapped a little bit differently, but I'm just going to go ahead and evoke this. And if Dingo has links, he's going to kill kill me super dead. Otherwise, maybe we're chaining rings. Maybe we are just going to slam this and try to find a all is dust. Looks like no uh, links yet. So I'm down to 13. There's a breaker of creation also. So now I can um, sink into the stupor a copy of the links. So I think I'm going to play this ring so I can try to find an all his dust or try to port in for one. Can, oh, I also have Subtlety, which can answer that too. Yeah, let's just pass. Weird game one. Okay, so I did forget that this works through the ring protection. Oh no! I forgot that I forgot that the Johnny that it was bugged. Let's restart the match. <laughs> Let's restart the match. Let's keep. I'm gonna cycle a portent on turn two. Let's so draw a talisman. Didn't I have ring protection? I had ring protection, but Johnny is each opponent, so it doesn't care about ring protection. So I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna, you know, choose, done, goes to hand. Very simple, convoluted, reveal top card, put it into your hand. Simple and convoluted. Definitely nice that it cycles for cheap. So now I'm going to try to go uh, ring into all his dust. I don't, I, I maybe I should have just played sync tapped because I don't actually think there's that much that I would use the sync on. Maybe an Amped Raptor. Yeah. Hmm. 
maybe an F chapter. Okay, I like having the breaker to stabilize. Subtlety is really nice because this is going to stop the links from getting me too effectively. Yeah, Johnny's bug. Someone, someone was, someone I think this morning asked me if I had seen the Johnny bug and I hadn't and now we have. Let Johnny go. So I have six mana. I guess I'm just supposed to break Grip Creation. Did drop the challenge, yeah. Breaker is so damn good. All right, fast games. Didn't get to cast a big portent. That's okay. Not that important. So we're so. Just trying to think how much I care about like leaving forces, and I think I'm not going to leave them in. I'm going to bring in. I'm going to leave in the subtleties because they're because I know Dingo told me he's on the cat. Let's even the portents because this is uh. What the deck is doing. So maybe we'll do something like two dismember, two chalice on the draw. Maybe the dismembers are a little too painful. Something like this. Let's try this. We're getting the extra binding. Yeah, hex for, hex for from each color is is definitely weirdly phrased. So we have turn one talisman plus cycle lore and revealed. If we want to cycle lore and revealed. Yeah, Portent is definitely a really interesting card. I think I'm probably not going to Island Cycle since right now it looks like our curve is Hardcast Subtlety next turn and then Lauren Revealed. Oh, sorry, I forgot to update the title. Okay, this list is in the Mox field, but it's not set as the deck. Right, we'll just leave up either either instant i think it, it could be better to just like set up for breaker of creation here or maybe we could even hit a portent mm -hmm. i guess i can still breaker next turn so let me exile a Johnny and then make two spawns. Close Lex Unsealing helps with card types and is an enabler. It's not a very good enabler. Actually, it is is it enable? It's kind. Of, it's, it's. I would count it as a payoff, but whatever. Oh, you mean it makes the mana for the uh, thing? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's good. It's a card I haven't played with yet, too. I mean, to some extent, I kind of want to. I still want to play with all the MH three cards, but just been taking some of them. Have been taking a back burner. If you announce the cast and sex bomb while paying cost, breaker should count the spawns as life gain. Really? Wow, that is... Breaker just keeps getting better and better, huh? I like the black-white Ocelot deck a lot. Big Monkey, obviously Boros is good too. But I, I like that deck a lot, the, the Orzhov build. That's not true? Okay. Well, not actively getting better every turn then. No thanks, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Dingo has given me all the all the energy I need. Dimension grew wide, so assuming they love the hype. I mean, I think that deck is okay. Um, I it's I think Naya is better than Green White. I think Naya is is good and promising, and 
think I'm going to cycle the morning field. I think Naya is good and promising and is not something I have really been able to spend a lot of time with. You didn't want to save my breaker. I mean, I think I was okay with the trade and then I'm just going to go exile the lynx. Exile the lynx, uh, make more spawns and then just cast another breaker. Seems fine, right? And I get to gain the life off this breaker, which is really going to go a long way for stabilizing. Yeah, but I don't think don't think that works. So we're gonna sack two things, then trade here. It's probably fine. Am I crazy for disliking them shorting the text for ETB? Um, not crazy, but I think it's not very serious. I think it's probably not something to be super up in arms about. But you can be you know, as up in arms as you want to be. Okay, so we top deck portent, portent X equals 6. Can we reveal 4 types? Can we cast something for free? Uh, looks like we do have 4 types. So, Artifact, Kindred, Sorcery. I guess I guess they, I could do instant sorcery kindred. So done. And then let's cast all is dust without paying its mana cost. And then the rest go into my hand. I'm probably going to talk about you sure you don't want anything. I'm I oh I'm not sure actually. Yeah. Can't talk about. I'll, I'll, I'll do about. some soft tacos and a Baja blast. With the potato ones. I'll do like three of them. But cheese without cheese? With the cheese is fine. Cheese is good. Cheese is fine. Well, Porton looked pretty good there. Kind of stomped Boros. Even even with them having the Techie Lynx card. That was a pretty good a good look. Yeah, I know I know Porton is a very very convoluted card. You can go reveals Gigantha. Moles to five. Looks like we're up against Prowess again. Seems we're evoking. Really need Spike Take on Naya Energy 2.0. We'll, we'll get around to it. I know and it's been like very demanded, but... When I was looking at it recently, I didn't really feel like I wanted to change a lot. And uh, for the amount of like hype or whatever, when we circle back to it, I want it to be deserved. Do you have any suggestions for improving game against Wrath the Skies for Asmo decks? The best thing is cut Asmo and play a different deck, but you can try to be figure out a way to play Force of Negation in the main. If you if you have like four copies of Force of Negation in the main, you can feel okay. Um I was trying to build a Flare of Denial affinity build, which is like closer to existing than you might think, but still uh, like a little too far away from being good, maybe. Is Mockingbird interesting and is a prowess? I don't think so. You just kind of can't play that many creatures, I would think. It's not uninteresting, I should probably say. blue card to pitch 
Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad the stream was saved too. Obviously, I was playing up the whole train wreck thing a little bit for entertainment, but <laughs> it, was, it was a rough morning. Yeah, everybody should go give Dingo a sub and a follow and a kiss on the cheek for, for saving the stream today. I know I believe. Yeah, I think we just hardcast Null Drifter with uh, Force Subtlety up. Would a Johnny make sense in the blue-white energy list? Yeah, maybe. I think I think it's possible you could just play a Johnny over the the Port Mage, maybe. But Port Mage was okay. It, 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 it does need some tweaking, but Mockingbird looked great. And that's kind of, you know, maybe that's the important thing. Sneak peek of Flare Denial Affinity. It's, it's, there's not enough to look at, but Siren Storm, Stormglass Spire, and it makes an artifact and sacks to Flare and leaves the artifact behind. You play Tomio, you play Kappa Cannoneer. Um, I worked on it for a long time and, and was never able to find uh, what I felt was a good balance. A Johnny is definitely a better card than Port Mage. That's true, yeah. I agree. Um, unless you be more aggro. What did Dingo do? Dingo's playing against us right now. So the today's the Bloomboro early access event, but like basically there there there's like two or three people playing, and there just aren't there were not enough people to like actually like have a stream. So Dingo Dingo joined us to let us actually have a stream. Which is awesome. A real one for sure has been a good has been a good friend to me. Um, can I can I exile the Swiss spear or the Kitsa or any of these and then let's make four spawns? Yeah, it's can't quite. Is Magic a dying game? Well, this this is only in the content. This is a beta client. This is you know. Only, only a content creator thing. Well, it was just not available to anybody, really. So they probably will have to readjust how they structure this. Then I give it invites out. So they, I don't know how many people are in the program, but they're, they're you know, not enough or not enough people that play modern for this to really fire. Should I cast a ring or all is dust? Yeah, I guess I guess I, let's let's not play with our food here. I just I just love to cast Breaker of Creation. It is just like my favorite card to cast. They did themselves. Watsy has no else to blame. I don't know. This I, I think it's more of a, a daybreak. Figuring out the structure of this kind of event more than more than anything else. Yes, life gain good against the aggro deck. We're really cooking today. I mean, it is like the portents we should be cutting in this matchup. I'm gonna leave three in just for testing sake. It has been pretty nice so far. What's the game you're a part of the beta for? Uh, th this this Bloomboro early access event is on the beta client of Magic Online and for the Moto Creator program, and um, they are figuring out the structure. It, it seems. Yeah, there's also a modern challenge at the same time. Okay, I I think it, I think that this probably if like if this early access thing is going to exist, it it probably just needs to be open to everybody. That's my initial thought. So ding bad when not in deck bad when in deck too. Dingo complained about having no thundering falls earlier.
I don't think splitting resources and efforts across two games platforms, Magic on the Arena was a good idea. Oh, I a huge agree. It would be it would be so good for Magic if we just all played on one client. Honestly, may, like, wouldn't it be that unreasonable to just let that resolve? I think it's better to force there. And is a little high on the mana curve here. There's a Kitsa. And a show off. Arena or Moto. I don't really care, uh, to be honest. As long as long as everybody's playing on the same client and everybody's having a good time and you can play all the formats. I I you know, I played a lot of Magic Online, but if if it was if Arena was the client and it was good and everybody, you know, we we're all on the same client, I think that would be better. Respect the cat, thanks for the raid. Our, one of our fellow uh, early accessors has fallen, I see. That's not what happened, though. There isn't a zero sum in total for they can invest in both. Money I spent a moment never going to read it. I, I agree. I I know that's not what happened. It seems like it'll never, like likely never be what will happen. Okay, so if I draw a double land next turn, I can all his dust. But it just would be a lot better for people to learn the game and get into other formats and for their communities to be connected. All right. Well, oh, we don't even hit a land. Yikes. So this is eight exactly. We are dead. Game three. Game three on the play. Click submit. Wonder if Arena makes more money per year than the Moto. Yeah, I don't know. What's been the most impressive card from Bloomboro? Probably Mockingjay. I mean, Mock Mockingjay seemed really good. Poor Mage is fine. Um, Portent has been fine. Mockingjay was really good for us, though. All right, Chalison won on the play against Prowess. I think I'm going to Null Drifter here rather than Kozak's X Command X equals 2, but maybe Kozak's X Command X equals 2 is better. Has Squirrels become a top tier strategy or is it Modern Dead? Uh, Modern's Dead, sadly. Rest in peace, modern. We all hated you. Bad format, TBH. Um, subtlety is okay here. I think the problem is I just like can't subtlety whatever they play this turn. So I think I want to dig a little deeper. Next turn, I can maybe go talisman, talisman, breaker into hand. Yeah, <laughs> nothing of value was lost. Yeah, here I think I'm going to go exile this all as dust, then play a talisman, then play Lauren Revealed. Lauren Revealed is so fun in this deck. Just like fixes your mana, makes you good against Blood Moon. Ooh, baby. Okay, I'm excited to cast this card again. So we have four, we have eight mana next turn. X equals seven. Then we even have Spell Pierce Insurance. We're going to get Blood Moon, maybe? Oh, Flame of an Ore, Dark Fire, not availing us today. I think I should probably loot in combat here, see if he does it. Nice. Kits is so good. Slicks that show off, also a wizard. Flame of an Ore, looking good. I'm excited to play our Is It Kitsa deck too. Might have to wait till Tuesday. So I guess the question is, how much can we afford to play around Spell Pierce? If I play Eldrazi Temple, I put Breaker into my hand. I have I'm one mana short of casting it. I could cast All His Dust instead. Why loot during combat? You could find Mutagenic Growth or loot away uh, uh, Lava Dart.
Let's not play around Spell Pierce, because I could just break her next turn. Oh, no, Dingo, why would you Spell Pierce me? <laughs> the content. Honestly, maybe X equals 5 was just correct. Maybe, maybe X equals 5 was just better. Kitsa and Basim seem to play some roles. You'll be building a deck using all eight copies. Yeah, for sure. That was, this was in my PowerPoint talking about playing both together a little bit. I'm just not sure how likely we are to to reveal four different types. I, the math is really difficult to do. Eight damage. Lava Dart is plus six. No, plus eight. So I would go to one if they have a Lava Dart. Bolt is less damage than Dart here, taking big hit. No mutagenic growth, so I'm at three life. So play Vista, Breaker of Creation, down to two, gain seven up to nine. Versus all is dust to be dead to a bolt or a dart. So I guess I didn't have to be dead to a bolt or a dart. Seems like I should just cast the breaker. Will one of Tasker find its way to Blue Black Legend, or is the time to sound too short? Yeah, Tasker was okay. I'm I'm definitely open to continue to register the card in these shells. Okay, not Underwood Breach at least. And uh, one one more spell gets me. Oh, copies with Kitsa. Nice. Very cool. Tough game. I think maybe if I had played around. So I'm going to click the keep button. I think I'm going to end it on a classic and reveal Gigantha. Swamp Nethergoyf. Let's freaking go. Island cycle. Torn Island. Oh, well, I guess we're just going to do this main phase to play around Bowmaster, Scry X, X of the Nethergoyf. Going to bottom the temple. Good chance we're just going to subtlety and hardcast next turn if we don't catch anything right now. Although, actually, yeah, let's just X equals three this and like draw two or three cards. And then set up for next turn. Maybe another one of these. That does not draw. We don't get pinged by the Bowmaster. So I think we I don't think we have to subtlety this. Nice. Just yeah, draw three. Pretty good. Yeah, this, this card is kind of crazy. I want the Jun Mana Base to bury me when I die so it can let me down one last time. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, so next turn we can just Portent again. And we, have, we, have, we have the chance to possibly hit four different types. Holding up hard cast and like waiting a turn, or now we can now we can just ring for this turn and then go a little bit bigger next turn is probably good. Shame that's a sorcery. It, this card would be probably too good at at, at instant because you just you just get to cycle it for two mana at, at the end of your opponent's turn. And then it's just like every point on the curve and then it pops off really hard. Probably good enough to Oh, I want to pitch my portent. That was close. Eggs. Important to not pitch the portent. Okay, so not drawing this, I'm going to tap the ring to try to find another imprintable. Which we do miss on. Alright, I think I want to just try to see what this card is like in a pinch. X equals 5. Artifact, land, creature. Oopsie doopsie. Damn. 
Amtraptor hitting another Amtraptor. Hastings, seven plus two plus two. All right, sorry, sorry, seven plus one plus two. So I'm down to three life points. That's that's bolt range. So I think I'm gonna go exile the bowmaster, make two spawns. I guess I guess it's better for me to make a few more spawns. I guess I just am blocking with them. Well, the problem is if I I'm just I'm just dying to my ring if I don't find something here. I guess that something had to be another ring, which we are lucky enough to find. Are you playing anything, rather than anything by tapping down? Not anything too relevant. I think I'll just go ahead and get a talisman down too. But hopefully a breaker stabilizes us next turn. Get to gain a lot of life if we get to cast this one and not get bolted. I guess I could sink into the stupor bolt if Dingo doesn't have another land. Could also draw force negation maybe. We have eight permanents? <laughs> I'm trying to cast Portent of Calamity. I'm not trying to ring loop you, Dingo. It's very, it's very different. So if we do this, I have four, five, six, seven. I just, I just want to make sure I can have to sink into the stupor up after I cast this breaker. No, oh, and I miscounted. Okay, still casting it, I guess. Ah, no! <laughs> no! The clever ploy. I think we're dead anyways, right? Poor Dingo. Playing against Ring draws double Bowmaster Needle for my <laughs> Ring. Poor Dingo. <laughs> Alright. Bring in the chalice. I just gonna play the talisman. That's true. I did. I did miscount my mana there. If I just don't play the talisman, I guess we live. Think of the super though. I, my my light total might be a little too low. We'll see. Not sure. If you find adventure card of raptor, can you cast the adventure? Yeah, you should be able to. So if you hit uh, stomp and you only have two energy, I think you can cast stomp. Could have Dingo to play Jun Saga. It's always just so fun to play against. 45% chance to whip off port and X equals 5, I see. Yeah, I mean, I, I tried to do the math on it and I was having, having a hard time as someone who didn't graduate college. If only this was an Eldrazi spell. <laughs> if Dingo thoughts he's is the Chalice, we're probably cycling the portent. Thank you, sweetie. It's like, I think the math would be a lot easier if we didn't have, like, the Kindred double type cards. I was having a hard time figuring it out. Hit a one drop. Nice. Rulu, the Twitch Prime, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Okay, I'll take <laughs> This just throws <laughs> napkins onto me. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I that can not happen. Right. right. Hopefully this is a divination and not a card draw. Oh, divination. I guess I'm taking some... I think the third ring. Screw you, Dingo. <laughs> One mode, Kozlex command. Nice, even drew an imprintable. Everybody loves 
this gameplay. I'm definitely not the uh, the villain here for sure. Is Static Prison good as shit? Static Prison is very good in the Forest of Marty decks. One mana exile and you non land permanent, and it's not too tough to keep up with the energy costs. I think I'm actually just gonna do this. Mr. on a land, right? Next track in all is dust before tapping the ring. So Dingo takes a mana away with Besage you or with without by moon gives me a mana back with Besage you. Seems fair. I take two down to nine. Four, five, six, seven. Turn everything to dust. Except for that lava. You're cool, lava spear brutes. Don't worry about it. You don't have to be dust. Please let me cast Port and Dingo. <laughs> I guess I gotta let this resolve. <laughs> I promise I won't cast Breaker unless it's off Port and... Yeah, I'll definitely keep up the set review videos. People seem to like them a lot and I like doing them. A good part of the ecosystem. We could, you know, this could be anything. This could even be a breaker of creation. All right, so I'll choose breaker as the creature. Sorcery, kindred, or instant. Done. And then cast the breaker. I'm going to put all these cards into my hand. Thank you, Dingo, for letting me cast the port. You're getting a... Just some lag here, it seems. Takes the breaker. Bolts himself. Thank you, Dingo. Going to game three. Have we done the thing? We just we just did the thing a second ago. We just cast a breaker of creation off of a portent. Did it a couple times. I think portent's been pretty pretty nice in the stack. Definitely like a very odd card, but it's also been nice to just be able to cycle it if we draw it early or pitch it. Okay, so I'm, you know, big mulligan here. Bring back subtlety for sure. And then I'm going to go Saga or Labyrinth into Talisman to turn to Kozlex Command. So I think over the, the Null Drifter. Obviously, I would love to also have the, the Null Drifter. Thought on Seagate Restoration, seven mana for Ugin's Lab, and could hit off Fortin. Yeah, Seagate Resto might be better than um, Sink into the Stupor. Oh, seven mana for Ugin's Lab. It does not pitch to Ugin's Labyrinth. This is, um, it's like that third time this week people have suggested, or someone has suggested, like, pitching a, um, a, uh, oh, I guess I can pitch that set. You, you, can, you can only pitch Colas cards to Ugin's Lab. I, I'm not sure what's going on. Where the confusion is coming from, but you, it has to be a cultist card. You would see a lot more like Archon of Cruelties getting pitched if it could just be any card. This list I found has no overgrown too. <laughs> That's funny. Please do a league of Glimpse Drazi with Porton as foretold in Glimpse. Uh, I don't know if I'll play all of those. I could play some of them. Put the needle, the wandering. There you go. Can't even answer that. 
All right, draw two. Your turn. I think I island cycle here. So I can cast top deck double blue cards, subtlety, Lauren revealed. I guess I could do that maybe off the talisman too. But not quite as easily. Can't can cast the Lauren revealed at least. Okay, so taking a hit off the nether goyf. Another type for the Goyf. Yes, finds a Urza Saga. Good play, Dingo. I'm down to Pete. Pretty cooked, I guess. Draw all is dust. A little bit short of being able to have put that in my. I guess if I had Ugin's Lab Pitch Breaker, then top deck this, we could have cast it. A little short of stabilizing. GG's. Thanks so much for salvaging the scene. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Uh, that is where we're going to call it. Too bad the early access event didn't really pan out. Thanks again, Dingo, so much for tuning in and getting some matches in. I know the beginning of the stream was rough. Thanks for uh, tuning in for that. Um, yeah, I had a snow-covered waste because I cut an island for it. I wanted to see, like, with Islander, that waste be better. An island would have been better, whatever that's worth.